Hello, this week's Scientist of the Week is Bessie Blount Griffin. She was born in 1914. She's African American. She was born in Hickory, Virginia, died at the age of 95. While she was young, she didn't really have much access to education. They only had this one school room for all the black and, uh, and Native American kids in the area. And the education stopped at sixth grade. While she was there, she was actually left-handed and she would get reprimanded for it constantly by getting wrapped on the knuckles. Regardless, she taught herself how to write with her right hand and eventually actually how to write with her mouth and feet, which came into use later on. Then her family moved to New Jersey where she continued self-educating. She then went and got a nursing degree and then became a physical therapist, which was useful for when after World War II, a lot of soldiers were coming back with injuries. She actually helped invent a feeding tube that could be used completely independently with the soldiers being able to just bite down. On top of that, she created a neck, neck brace with a bowl attached to it so, people, so soldiers can drink out of it. But weirdly enough, because of her ability to be ambidextrous and then right with her mouth and feet, she taught soldiers how to do so if they had no ability to write with their hands. And then she became a forensic scientist and focusing really a lot of on the writing techniques and just being able to analyze people's writings, she ended up being the first black woman ever to enter the document section of Scotland Yard all the way in the UK. Um, she was able to analyze if somebody's health was declining just from observing their handwriting. If you want to learn more about Bessie Griffin, definitely check out the link below and stay tuned for more Sciences of the Week.